Hello and welcome to Instructor Lesson Online Tutorials. Shortly we're going to solve this problem on electricity. We are asked to find the electric field intensity due to a 10.0 times 10 to the power of minus 9 coulomb at a point 10 millimeter from the charge. So it is a very simple problem. The only thing you need to do first is to fetch out the parameters necessary to be able to figure out this problem. So the first thing I will bring out is this electric field intensity. Watch, you're asked to find electric field intensity. We use symbol E to represent electric field intensity. And this column represents charge. It's the value for charge. So we have 10.0 times 10 to the power of minus 9 column and 10 millimeter. Meter is the unit for distance or radius or yeah or length. So we have arrow which is for the distance to be 10 times 10 to the power. Milli means 10 to the power of minus 3 meters from the chart so we have two expressions for electric field intensity the first one is e equal to force per unit charge and if you check the video my video on electricity or electric field from that video in that video i explained the concept of electric field electric field intensity and Coulomb's law there you will see how I derive this expression. This is by the definition of electric field intensity. It's a force per unit charge. And I derive another expression using an expression we got from, we got from uh, Coulomb's law. And I used that to substitute into this. And I got another expression, which is E equal to um, KQ over R squared. If you don't know or if you don't understand how we got this concept, I will drop the link to the, that particular video where I treat these expressions. I will drop the link in the description of this video. So just check down the link, click it, and then watch this video. You will understand much con concept about the electric field intensity. Then come back to the solution of this. It will make things clearer for you. All right. So this scale, we've already defined it in that video as... as uh, the constant that has a value of uh, 9.0 times 10 to the power of 9 force per meters. All right. And I also derived or explained how this value comes up or uh, comes to be. So R here has been defined. So let's substitute the whole of this parameter into this equation. This is the equation we're going to use to get the electric field intensity. So we have E, electric field intensity, equals K is given as 9.0 times 10 to the power of 9. This will multiply by the charge, which is 10 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 9. All over, we have the distance squared, which is 10 to the power, 10 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 3. And this value is squared. So sometimes this value might not be given in your exams. Sometimes it might be given. But when it is not given, know that this is constant. Just apply it. And again, after facing this, you might have challenges in making use of the calculator. You can treat this using the indices law. And you can as well treat this using calculator to punch it. So let me take it step by step using the calculator instead of using the indices. But if you want to understand the concept of how we can use indices, indices to solve this problem, then check my video on, I'll drop a link to the video on product rule or multiplication law, product rule of indices. I'll drop the link of the video also in the description of this video. So you also learn product law and know how you can solve this using uh, indices okay so let's work on this using our calculator the first pro the first problem we're having or the first expression there is 
we have 9 multiplied by or 9 exponential 9 multiplies by 10 exponential 10 exponential 9. If you don't understand what I meant by exponential, you will still understand it in that video. Exponential is another phrase for power or index. And you can see it down on your calculator. Depending on the calculator you're using, you see E. Either capital letter E or small letters E inside where you see 10 to the power of. It's the same way of writing 10 to the power of something. You can press exponential. So if you're not familiar with that, you can go by the normal way you usually go about things like this. So if you multiply this, the result you have here is 90. For the numerator, you have 90. And if you want to check it through indices too, you see that when multiplying the same number of the base, the powers will be added. So if this base are multiplied, take one of the common power. And if you add this, you have 9 plus minus 9, which will give you 0. And 10 to the power of 0 is 1. Because the law of product uh, multiplication law states that anything to the power of 0 is 1. So if that is 1, 9 multiplies by 10 should give you 90. So this value is correct. So let's check the denominator. We have the value. We have 10 to the power of 10 exponential minus 3. And the whole of the expression is squared. The whole of the expression is squared. Let's see the result of that. What we have here is 1 times 10 to the power of minus 4. Then if you want to check it with indices, <clears throat> if it is correct, it's as simple as saying this 10 multiplied by 10 minus 3 is duplicated. Or let's use the symbol multiplies by 10 to the power of minus 3 meaning this squared means you repeat this twice so you can see from here 10 multiplies by 10 we give us without b what's the value of 10 multiplied by 10 that should be 100 multiplies by here we have indices applied 10 to the power of minus 3 minus 3 it gives us minus 6 all right so we're apparently having 10 to the power of 2 multiplied 10 to the power of a, we have two zeros that's how we have well, that's how we got to this is minus 6 so if you check the indices of this you check the indices of this we have 10 to the power of 2 minus this we give you minus 4 that's how we got because 1 multiplies by 10 to the power of minus 4 is still 10 to the power of minus 4 i hope that makes sense to you all right so finally we have to divide this expression 90 90 divides the answer we had this result we give us uh, we have 900,000 which is the same thing as 9 times 10 to the power of 5 we have five zeros there so 10 to the power of five so what would be the unit of this electric field intensity the unit of electric field intensity is from this expression you can derive the unit as newton newton per column force is measured in newton charge is measured in column so the unit to this is newton per column and this is the solution to this problem so notice how we follow up the system putting the formula the the parameters given and substituting it into the expression and also notice the units of this expression in physics we cherish you always adding the unit to each of these quantity you are looking for so if this makes sense to you and you understand the concept if you have any question whatsoever, you can make use of the comment section. And if you enjoyed the lesson, please hit the like button. 
also hit the subscribe button if you've not subscribed to this channel and also share the video for all of these and more i'm going to see you in the next video thank you peace